however, is very different. Buddhism is a teaching which totally ignores the existence of God. For that reason, Buddhism is regarded as an atheist religion. One of the main reasons for this is the narrow-mindedness of Buddhism. Buddhists build their lives on suppressing human wishes and desires and on performing various rituals. They never consider the question of how the universe, living things, and human beings came into existence. No Buddhist writings have ever even touched on these matters. Buddhists are therefore unaware of the existence and infinite might of the Almighty God, creator of the universe and all living things. As well as being atheist, Buddhism is also a pagan religion. In other words, it worships idols. The idol in question being Buddha himself. The process of turning Buddha into an idol began immediately after his death. Buddhist priests set about making him divine. They adorned the places they lived in with great statues of the Buddha, and then superstitiously worshipped these idols they had made with their own hands. They even built temples in which the Buddha's eyes were depicted. They thus believed that the Buddha could see everywhere and constantly watch people. Buddhism, an atheist religion, is unaware of the truths of the teaching of revealed religions such as Islam, Christianity and Judaism. The most important characteristic of revealed religions is that they regard God as the one and only. In the Quran, God reveals that Your God is one God, so submit to Him. Buddhists, however, deny God and irrationally make an idol out of Buddha, a helpless and mortal human being, just like themselves. In other words, they ascribe partners to God. In hundreds of places in the Quran, God reminds us that this association is a very serious sin. God has revealed that He will never forgive those who ascribe partners to Him in one verse. God does not forgive anything being associated with Him, but He forgives whoever He wills for anything other than that. Anyone who associates something with God has committed a terrible crime. Many people believe that Buddhism is a comforting, peace-giving religion. They even imagine that it represents a solution to many problems. This, however, is a great error.
because that which Buddhism regards as a virtue consists of suffering. For that reason, this religion pushes people towards a life full of suffering and poverty. Eating the best foods and being clean and comfortable are forbidden in Buddhism. For Buddhist monks and nuns, life is full of all kinds of difficulties. They are forbidden to work. They feed themselves by going from door to door and begging among the people. For this reason, Buddhist priests are even called bhikkhus, which means beggars by the people. This is a most humiliating position. Buddhist priests are forbidden to marry or have any kind of family life. They may own only one robe. They eat only one meal a day. And they must finish this before noon. This meal generally consists of bread and rice flavored with spices. It is forbidden to eat such things as meat or fruit. In short, Buddhist strictures are a form of self-torture. Islam, on the other hand, wishes people to take advantage of the good things of the world and forbids them to inflict suffering on themselves. Islam offers a peaceful life aimed at winning the good pleasure of God. People who live by the moral values of the Quran are clean, take pleasure from life, and are always animated, joyful and happy. This is what God reveals concerning those who, like Buddhists, inflict suffering on themselves. God does not wrong people in any way. Rather, it is people who wrong themselves. Tibet a land where Buddhism rules there are many temples here They are all decorated with gold and precious stones and possess an extravagant appearance. This is supposedly a sign of the respect felt for Buddha. This display in wealth, however, is in sharp contrast to the poverty of the people. Laos, Nepal, India. Buddhism is also widespread in these countries, and the same stark contrast can also be seen in them. Magnificent, wealthy temples and poverty ridden peoples. In short,